Okay, so what is Fluxus? Fluxus is one of the names for a band of people, many of them avant-garde artists, who started doing a lot of very interesting, different, and weird stuff in the early 1960s. Now many people who talk about Fluxus describe it as an art movement or as something that happened in art. It's actually much bigger and more interesting than that. Fluxus was this gigantic release of creative energy or creative potential in human culture, civilized human culture. That's culture spelled with a small c. Culture is a good thing, and, it's mean, and it gives meaning and context to all of our lives. It's the water we swim in. It keeps everything floating and going. Although culture and civilized culture are good things, they have some bad tendencies. A major bad tendency of civilized human culture is to get overly restrictive, narrow, standardized. Develop a strong sense of what is good, acceptable, appropriate, and right. What normal is and what normal should be. Ever hear stories about how straight suburban culture was in the U.S. in the 1950s? Well, this was happening in various ways all over the world, all over the economically developed world. Culture was basically tightening up. Just when modern, civilized, industrialized, developed culture was becoming uncomfortably tight in the middle of the last century, along came this small band of Fluxus folks around the world who used radical art, strange activities, objects, and performances and upside-down creativity to reverse this narrowing down, restricting tendency in the evolution of human culture. They were huge cultural tricksters who pumped a whole lot of new creative energy into culture by expanding and in some cases obliterating what we consider normal, interesting, and meaningful human behavior to be. These guys brought on the 60s, an extremely open, experimental, and challenging period that's helped propel and creatively energize human culture on planet Earth for the last 50 years, at least the parts of culture that you hipsters care about. So Fluxus was this amazing and powerful burst of creativity that helped expand the potential and possibilities in civilized culture, not restrict it. And yet most people, and even most hipsters, have never heard about Fluxus. Or if they have, they think it was just some later repeated version of Dada. You know Dada, the early 20th century art movement of absurdist theater and arguments that industrially manufactured objects like urinals could be art. Although Fluxus does have some of its roots in Dada and Futurism and John Cage, as you'll hear, it was actually a lot subtler, bigger, and more effective than Dada. Dada is pretty blatant about its creativity. Take something to its opposite extreme. You think high art is a nice religious oil painting? Well, I say it's a urinal, and that urinal should be in an art museum, too. A shocking, attention-getting argument, but easily dismissed or ignored by most people and culture. Fluxus, by contrast approached art, performance, and everyday culture and everyday human behavior from a hundred different right angles. Not extreme opposites, but very interesting and provocative right angles. Fluxus is more likely to draw you in and give you something to really feel and really think about and change than Dada, Andy Warhol, or Damien Hirst ever dreamed of. And if you don't believe me, well, just take my word for it. And the most wonderful thing about Fluxus is that much of it was done as a gag or a joke. One of the greatest creative forces, one of the greatest creative viruses in human history came as odd, entertaining little jokes and gags presented as avant-garde art. 